Right, as you know, uh, we are eco-friendly here at Cool Smartphone, and we like to see products like this um, on the market. This is a solar-powered Bluetooth car kit, and uh, it's called the Noise Hush Solar Vision N650, and it's been sent to us by the guys at wirelessground.com, and you can purchase it from them. Um, they just wanted us to do a video review of it. Now inside this box we've got the solar Bluetooth car kit, we've got transparent plastic casing, the vehicle charger, um, suction cups and a user manual. So you may have noticed the word charger there, uh, but um, it doesn't need that, it's a solar powered device. Uh, on the back it says this is a, an ideal eco-friendly hands-free kit for both vehicle and office use which harnesses the natural power of solar energy to recharge it on the go. By, user solar, by using the solar power charging, when it's in constant sunlight, the device will provide unlimited talk time uh, while it is charging its inbuilt battery. But uh, if you don't have enough sunlight, you can use the, the, the charger, and it's got this Lion ion battery, whatever you call it, suppression systems, and uh, full duplex quality with an LCD caller ID display. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna have a look at that. I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, rather nice edit at this point so uh, you don't get my one-handed unboxing experience again, because I know um, that can make the camera wobble around a little more. So I've got Bluetooth 2.1 on here, uh, no tools to use on it, uh, adjustable LCD screen, and it will fit on your car windscreen. So let's have a look at it. We've taken out the various bits now from the box and you can see we've got this windscreen um, mount here. Now that's actually held onto the windscreen by these two suction cups. They go into this hole and this hole here. It's called a, winds, a windshield mount in these instructions because it's uh, an American product. And um, we've got the charging cable here, the micro USB cable to normal USB connector. So you can charge this off your um, computer if you wish. You don't have to use this uh, cigarette lighter charger for um, charging it all the time. If you ha haven't got sunlight, of course, it will charge from the sunlight uh, entering your car. But if you haven't got any sunlight, like we're inside at the moment, we can either use uh, this plugged into your computer, that will charge it that way, or you can use this in your car if it's night time or something to charge up the, the, the Noise Hutch 650. Now, this um, actually slots into the wind screen mount with magnets and the magnets hold it in you'll just be able to see there's this two magnets there and they grab hold of this metal strip here and hold it in place and it is very that's not going anywhere believe me once it's in um, so that sort of clicks onto your windscreen like that and then this tilts down the LCD display so that you can see what's going on even with it tilted like that. So uh, that will display information about the call and uh, what's going on. So we've got three buttons on the front there. Um, we've got the call button, we've got a volume down and a volume up. And as you can see here, just see that circle in the light, if I just hold that right, that's the microphone slash speaker. And what we're going to do now, if I just take the back off, this magnet is very, it's not going anywhere. The there's a solar panel on the back, we can just see that just reflecting in the light there, there's a solar panel. So we can charge it from the cigarette lighter point, if you haven't got any sunshine, but uh, you can use that. We've also got, this is a charging point here, on the um, sort of right hand side of the unit. This AT button is to transfer your contacts, and um, on the left here we have the on off button. And what I'm going to try and do now, and I'm if this doesn't go wrong, we'll do some quick editing here. Is we've got um, the HTC Desire HD here on the right-hand side. I'm going to try and pair it with the device. Now I've already done my reading of the instruction booklet, so hopefully this will go very smoothly indeed. I'm going to first of all turn the Bluetooth on on my HTC um, Desire HD. I think I may have just called it something else. Um, so we just make sure that's on and. I'm going to make it discoverable. Now what we have to do on the Noise Hush N650 is hold down the on button for more than six seconds. 
So I'm going to press and hold it down. It may make some noise at this point. Okay, now it says pairing. So I'm going to do on the... You, you probably don't have to have this discoverable, but I'm going to scan for devices here. And hopefully I will see the noise hush N650 show up on the screen. I'm just going to zoom it in here so you can see a little bit more about what's going on. Okay, we found my BlackBerry and we found the Noise Hush N650. We've also found another device which I have no idea what it is. So if I say pair with this device, it says pairing. And I'm going to read the instructions now because I should have read this before. It does say it's pairing. Okay, so it says it's paired but not connected. And on the left look it says Desire HD. So we can see that it's connected to my phone because the Desire HD is my device name on uh, the Desire HD on the right hand side. So now, in theory, if I press the call button, it says it's connected. Desire HD. So we can see the, uh, the call button there. And I can make phone calls and use the Desire HD. Um, just throw that anywhere in my car. And I can make calls that way. Yeah, so that's uh, how we pair it up. So the next part, we've synchronized all my contacts by pressing the AT button on the right hand side and it's downloaded the names and the numbers of all the people that are on my contacts list. So if I um, just scroll through those now, I just need to put this little bit sticker on here. But you can see if I press the AT button really briefly and then press up and down, we can see that I've got all my contacts on there and I can scroll through them with the up and down arrows on here. That might be a little bit painful if you've got loads and loads and loads of contacts but it's um, a good way of finding the most recently used contacts as well. You can use that system to dial the last number that you called. You may find however it, it does have voice dial on it. You can short press the, the voice button once but I haven't been able to get that working yet. Home it doesn't seem to do anything but um, what you can do is dial from your phone obviously so if I call that if I call a number and we'll see Welcome to Orange. Now you can, you can see straight away Press one. you can see straight away how loud it is that's on volume 15 we can turn it down it reflects that change on the phone as well so if I'm turning it down it reduces the volume on there. It is very loud, I must say. Very loud indeed. So, uh, the volume aspect of it, and as far as I've, I've heard from the, um, the calls I've made to home, it works very well in the car indeed. The, uh, the, the noise cancellation is pretty much spot on. Uh, I can cancel this call, by the way, just pressing that. And it's dropped the call on the HTC Desire HD, or the phone that you've got um, synchronised up with it. Um, there are a few foibles I've found. It's a little tiny bit slow sometimes and when you've been looking through the phone book if you try and then make a call and turn the volume up and down it will flick through the phone book instead of turning the volume up and down. But uh, apart from that I think the fact it charges up via solar power you don't really have to worry about it too much if you leave it in the car. Uh, it's up on the windscreen so many people will look for um, sort, of, um, sort of car um, holders, you know, the windscreen holders that you go into the windscreen. They won't be looking for this really stuck right up on the top of your, your, your windscreen. And uh, I think really it's a, a very nice little device. So um, that is the Noise Hush N6. Now, guess where we are? Right in the car, as most of the cool smartphone videos are. But this time I'm going to take you outside of the car because we're going to have a look at the. See the suckers on there? That's how the rear. Um, cradle stays onto the windscreen, two sockets holding it in place and there you can see the solar panel is um, shining up to the sky and we should be able to see it's fully charged at the moment but if we zoom in on the top left it would display when it is charging that uh, battery meter uh, shines up uh, as charging we can, there you go, we can see the blue background on there 
it does the voice dial, although I haven't been able to get it working. If you get a phone call coming in, you can double tap to disconnect the phone call if you don't wish to take the call. As you can see, let's just zoom out, we've got the, the device in the top right hand corner of the windscreen. You can put it wherever you wish really on the windscreen, as long as it's not obstructing your vision obviously, I've got to say that for safety. You can put it behind the rear view mirror if you wish, if you don't mind the flap, uh, this display uh, not being on show. You don't have to have the display on show, uh, but if you wish it, to have it on display, you have to have it vertically mounted like this so that you can see what's going on. Um, now, if I just close the door, the volume on this, I must say, is very loud. I know that this camera is going to um, probably make it sound less, quieter than it is, but if I call somebody now, it's picking up. Welcome to Orange Answer Phone. You'll have no messages. Believe me, this is no very, messages. very loud. For greetings, press two. We could turn it down You'll with the volume button here. And, features, press three. and you can see the For volume. Help. There. So the noise hush uh, N650, it's, it's got a couple of little foibles, it can be a little slow to respond to your key presses, but it does take on all your contacts and it does operate exactly as you'd want it to operate. It just sits up there on your windscreen, you don't have to worry about it. When I'm parked outside like this it's charging up on its own and uh, I can just leave it and not worry about it. So um, this is uh, the, the noise hush N650.